Hello everyone, I'm back with the, another model which is Candy Store Excel Financial Model. Currently we are on the table of contents which includes input sheet, revenue analysis, startup summary, dashboard, monthly PNL, yearly PNL, cash flow statement, balance sheet, project evaluation, pre analysis, and diagnostic tools. Moving forward to the input sheet, what does an input sheet include? Basically, it includes all the basic information which is required for the business. Here we have assumptions, investment input, other assumptions, monthly employment payroll, capital expenditure, operating expenses, and every other little thing which is required for the business. Moving forward to the startup summary. Startup summary basically includes total funding and total expenses. And furthermore, it tells you how much investment your business requires. And furthermore, the cost is divided into two parts. One is variable cost and the other is fixed cost. Marketing sheet basically uh, calculates all the uh, uh, expenses of marketing we have done, uh, like on the Google paid, uh, Pinterest, Facebook, Instagram, like every kind of marketing we have done, we do the calculations in the marketing sheet. Revenue analysis includes sales projection. In sales projection, we have customers, seasonality, average orders by customers, and we have the units for the products we are offering. We have calculated the revenue for the products we are offering and the cost for the products we are offering. Uh, inventory basically tells you the opening inventory, closing inventory, used in the inventory, targeted inventory, every kind of inventory we have in the inventory sheet. Loan schedule basically tells you how much repayment uh, you need to do every month. Here we have calculated the beginning balance, interest expense, principal amount and remaining balance for the loans we have taken. Here we have taken three loans, loan one, loan two and loan three. Depreciation table basically tells you how much an asset is depreciating over the time. Obviously, if you are using an asset, it will be depreciating over the time. Monthly PNL basically uh, tells you the revenue, the cost of goods sold, total cost of goods sold, operating expenses, which we have included in the input sheet. Here we have done the calculations, net income before taxes, after taxes, everything on the monthly basis. In yearly PNL, we calculate revenue, cost of goods sold, gross profit, operating expenses, total operating expenses, net income after taxes, before taxes on the yearly basis. In cash flow statement, we have cash flow from operations, cash flow from in investing, cash flow from financing. And the, uh, it tells you whether the cash is generated from the cash flow from operations, cash flow from investing, or cash flow from financing. Furthermore, uh, it tells you the outflow and inflow of the cash, which is very important for the business. Balance sheet includes total assets and total liability. In total assets, we have current assets and fixed assets. And in total liability, we have current liability, non-current liability, and capital investment. Moreover, balance sheet tells you the current stability of the company, where the company is standing. Project evaluation basically tells you the FCFF of the company, value of the company, where the company stands, IRR of the company. Break-even analysis basically tells you the point at which you have generated enough uh, cash uh, to cover up all of your costs. Diagnostic tools basically tells you whether your business is doing uh, good or not, whether the gross margin is profitable or not, whether the expenses are reasonable or not. Uh, dashboard uh, basically is the visual representation of your business. It helps you uh, in understanding your business in a better way. That's it. Thank you for watching.